Good morning. As you know, um, the situation on NATO southeastern border is of great concern. Turkey has asked for alliance support and we stand in full solidarity with Turkey. I would expect NATO allies to make a decision later today. I'm confident we will demonstrate our determination to deter against any threats and defend our ally, because this is what our alliance is all about. As we have already made clear, any deployment would be defensive only. It would in no way support a no-fly zone or any offensive operation. I have already told that to Foreign Minister Lavrov in the spirit of full transparency. And I expect NATO ministers to repeat it when we meet in the NATO Russia Council shortly. The dialogue between NATO and Russia is based on reciprocal transparency, trust and confidence. And our aim remains to build a strategic partnership. This year, we have made good progress on practical cooperation in areas such as Afghanistan, counter-terrorism and counter-narcotics. We are going in the right direction, but we need to put new energy into our relationship and look at how we can boost cooperation over the next year. Tomorrow, we will meet the Foreign Minister of Georgia, a dedicated partner and one of the countries which aspires to join the Alliance. We will recognize the progress that Georgia has made and encourage all parties to keep up the momentum of democratic reforms. Georgia has shown exemplary commitment to our mission uh, in Afghanistan and tomorrow we will discuss with all our partners uh, in ISAF the question of long-term funding uh, for the Afghan forces as part of the broad international effort. This is an essential part of our shared strategy uh, for a stable Afghanistan. <coughs> we are committed to play our part in developing appropriate, coherent and effective funding for the Afghan forces. And uh, the Afghan government has committed to take on more and more of the funding over time, making sure that those commitments are met will be vital for Afghanistan, for NATO and for the whole international community. And with that, I'm ready to take a couple of questions. We'll start with NTV Turkey over there. Yes, so from NTV Turkey, Secretary General, I have two small questions. First is, do you think that at this uh, North Atlantic Council this afternoon, you will have the unanimity in order to support the increase of air defense capability of Turkey? And can you give us roughly the schedule about the deployment, bearing in mind that we will still need the, uh, the advice or let's say the, the report of uh, Sakur. Thank you very much. Yes, I would expect um, the Council of Ministers uh, to uh, take uh, the decision this afternoon to enhance Turkey's air defenses uh, with the aim to ensure effective defense and protection uh, of the Turkish population and Turkey's uh, territory. After that, it's for individual allies uh, who are capable to deploy um, Patriot missiles uh, to take their decisions uh, in full respect for domestic parliamentary uh, procedures. But I would expect uh, Germany, the Netherlands and the United States to be able to uh, deploy Patriot missiles uh, in uh, Turkey. Once the political decision has been made, uh, it will be followed by um, practical uh, deployment 
when that exactly will happen will depend on a number of uh, practical um, issues that will be sorted out in the very near future. So I can't give you an exact date, but I will tell you that uh, the actual deployment of missiles will take place within weeks. German news agency, DPA. Yes, yeah, Abeling from DPA, the German news agency. Secretary General, uh, Secretary Clinton and uh, President Obama have uh, issued strong warnings to uh, President Assad against using chemical weapons uh, against the Syrian population. How big do you think is the risk and the danger that Assad might be willing to use chemical weapons using SCAD missiles against uh, Turkey uh, as well? The Syrian stockpiles uh, of chemical um, weapons are a matter of uh, great uh, concern. Uh, we know uh, that uh, Syria possesses uh, missiles. We know they have the chemical uh, weapons. And of course, that also have to be included uh, in our calculations. Uh, and this is also the reason why it is a matter of urgency uh, to ensure uh, effective defense and protection uh, of our ally, uh, uh, Turkey. Let me add to this that the possible use of chemical weapons would be completely unacceptable for the whole international community. And if anybody resource to these terrible uh, weapons, uh, I would expect an immediate reaction uh, from the international community. BBC. Can I just follow up on that, Secretary General? Um, can you just explain, you said the Patriots would be there for defensive purposes. Uh, could you explain exactly what they would be doing? And also, given the warnings from President Obama and Hillary Clinton, <coughs> Should they be doing more than just defensive? If, if chemical weapons are being used, should NATO be doing more than just worrying about Turkey's own defences? Um, the purpose uh, of the possible deployment of uh, Patriot missiles uh, is to protect the Turkish population and Turkish territory against missile attacks. That is the specific uh, purpose. Um, and um, uh, I would like to, to stress once again uh, that this is a purely uh, defensive uh, measure. Um, we have uh, no intention uh, to prepare uh, offensive uh, or operations. Um, so uh, the purpose of this possible deployment uh, is to ensure effective defense and protection of Turkey. Thank you very much. That's all we have time for right now. But of course, the Secretary General will answer your questions after the uh, NATO Russia Council.